Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. It's Levi again. It's Jakob Lee's Garage, and um, got something special that I just picked up. It's been a super long day for myself. Um, sorry if the uh, camera's a little shaky. I'm doing this one on my phone as opposed to my GoPro. Um, but definitely had a long drive today from DC all the way to Danville, Virginia, to pick up something special from St. Clair's Impala Parts in Danville, Virginia. Great place to go check out for um, all your Impala needs. Just go ahead and Google it, St. Clair's Impala Parts.com, and check out what I just picked up. Boom! The 66 is getting new floors right now, buddy. Well, not yet, very soon. Right now, actually, we're working on getting the wiring harness all together. As you can see, my best friend uh, Devin, he's actually uh, the wiring guru and the wiring genius of this car right now. Um, he does got everything running, but um, he's just got to button some things up. Um, the baiting, um, you can actually go ahead and leave a comment in the uh, box below if I should go ahead and paint it while everything is out. And I'm saying paint it in terms of the dash or uh, just do it after everything's back assembled or uh, just let me know. Like I said everything is back together and uh, she is sitting back here pretty just taking her time looking glorious as possible oh you just love it when they close like that definitely definitely so uh Devin Devin so let me know exactly what is all that's going on with the uh, wiring harness. And mind you, I've known this guy literally uh, since I've been like 10, 12 years old, something like that, and he was running down the street on um, a beat up little, uh, what do you call those little mini scooter things? Mini uh, the mini bikes. The mini bikes. Yes. All so, right, essentially what we're doing with the harness is going to replace it with a, a complete factory harness. We'll, we'll, let's walk over here. Let's take a walk with me. How about this? I'll get my ball here. Yeah. Don't worry, you look great. <laughs> All right, so what's up? Bam. So essentially what we're doing is we're replacing this entire harness with the classic industry harness. And basically what we want to do is put it back exactly how it is factory. That's what we're doing. So unfortunately, you do got to pull the dash to do that, but that is the best way to do it. All right, so what was the problems with the existing wiring harness that I already had up in here? I know that you sent me um, photos of it, and it yep. looked pretty uh, barbecued. Yep, and that's essentially what happened. We probably had a faulty install. This car had an alarm on it. So with that being said, I think, honestly, maybe something just over time probably touched behind the dash. Mm -hmm. And that was it. It kind of just ran. So got to replace all right and unfortunately that's probably the reason why i had like the whole faulty wiring with um the lights flickering i don't know yet he's the professional and i don't do any electric audio or um alarms or anything with the wiring harness give you some wheels i'll put it on i can do brakes and some other minor stuff like that but this is the guy to talk to that's so it. all the lights work right now really yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. yeah, I haven't updated you on that. Okay. All the lights work right now. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. All right, so yeah. with the new uh, wiring harness from Classic Industries, which actually was a great place that he yeah. did a reference yeah. um, uh, for about, I think it was like 450 460 bucks. I did uh, take his advice and went ahead and ordered it. Yeah. It did uh, come out. I received the shipping notification. They shipped it out like literally the next day exactly. within 24 hours. And I think you probably got it like less than a week later. Yeah. Um, and that's a company out in uh, California also as well too. So with the new factory wiring harness that is actually in there here, which is the main harness, so to speak, uh, what about like things like the defroster and the heat, um, the controls for that? Does that also run through yep, all this all as well? it runs through that. And what you'll see, these lights right here, this is actually what they go to. These lights hanging down right here, mm -hmm. they actually go on each side of this. Uh -huh. uh, but in terms of defrost and heat, yep, same thing. And those uh, actually uh, hook into the harness also as well, because yep, those look yep, brand new. Because yep, the ones yep. that I had looked a little toasty. Yep, and it comes with everything. And not only that, but what you'll see, I'm trying to unplug here, but what you'll see is that, like on stuff like this, this, this harness actually comes essentially pre-wired with all the factory plugs on these things. Oh, nice. So it's just plug and play. Just plug and, plug and play. You just plug it in. Like everything is, is essentially wired and mm -hmm. it just plugs right into everything factory just like it would be. So oh, you nice. There's no cutting. There's no nothing. You just plug it in. Like I said, oh, routing, nice. it, routing it how it should be factory is probably 
you know, I'm not going to say it's difficult, but that really is how you want it. So mm -hmm. that's how I like to try to put it back, just like as it was back. Because, like, beforehand, when I first got the car, everything was just literally, like, hanging down under under the actual, um, yeah. the dash and the ignition console also. Well, excuse me, the ignition um, module. And it just really just looked like the guy before me that owned it, well, the guy that owned it before him just was like, he had a couple Coronas, one too many, and just tried to go through and just try to get everything together. But um, hooked up. yeah, well, yeah, but cool. It. Yeah, but we got all we got everything hooked in. Like I said, really, um, I'm gonna put the dash back in there. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the rest of this stuff really goes to the dash. This little stuff, mm -hmm. this plugs in behind this for all everything that's backlit. The rest of this stuff, these are actually your factory radio wires. This is the only two that you have from factory. Uh huh. Um, essentially, this right here is for the cigarette lighter, and uh -huh. all these other little bulbs go in the little. So sensors. then, so then, really, once those um are plugged up, everything actually should just yep, work, work and cut right on. Should just work. Like I said, the defrost. What I'm gonna do with that? Uh, the blower motor's under the hood with that. So what I'm gonna try and do? Because I'm gonna run some extra grounds. Essentially, um, it should have like four more grounds. So I'm gonna make a ground kit from the battery, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, essentially just run new wiring for the defrost too for the blower. Oh, okay. Motor. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So like sounds so. like to me, my stuff's getting together. Yeah. And stuff. So it's time. I wish we had tons and tons of time. Yeah. But, well, I mean, I'm in no rush to get it back or whatnot. It, it, it lets me pay off some more bills and clear some room on my credit card so I can just buy some more stuff. Um, awesome, awesome. So um, I'll give you all another update in a few. I'm going to wrap with my homie for a little bit, and I'll talk to you all in a second.